All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to pull a post. Cyclone post, wood post, it doesn't matter. All you need is some muscle, demo bar, wood, and some wet soil, so stick around. Hey everyone, welcome to the Work and Dirt channel. We are gonna be making this opening wider, not only so that we can fit this tractor through, but I convinced the, op the owner that it's always important to have big openings so that you can bring back herds of people, barbecues, pallets, wheelbarrows. It's always nice just to have a big opening to get back to your backyard. So, but in order to do that, for, we need to remove these posts, these existing posts, and we want to hinge off this post over here but when you do that you have to take caution because now you have a bigger gate which is going to be heavier and we don't want the post to start leaning we don't want your gate to be saggy versus trying to hinge off the house which could be another idea you do but if you do that then um, well it's going to encroach on your opening which defeats our point so you ready to get started You know what, I think it's hitting this concrete now on this one. Uh -oh. So let's do the next one. That one. Now you're probably wondering, all right, so how are you going to hook that post? Well, glad you asked. A little chain action. And what we're gonna wanna do is get a chain, a nice beefy chain, go around it. Figure eight, as you can see. See, I just twisted it, a little figure eight action. You can do it once more. All right, we'll just do once and see how that reacts. And then, and then get the hook as tight as you can on the chain. There you go, okay. Now, we're going to make our chain go down more, and what we're going to do is, kind of like a Chinese finger, when you lift up, it's going to choke the wood, but I want to get another piece of fulcrum action. Alright, so now we got our fulcrum in place, and obviously you're going to want to use a strong bar, and get as close as you can to it so you have the most leverage, and you can apply the most force, so let's see. How we can get it here. Oh, she daisy. I know you guys were doubting it. You're like, that ain't gonna work. I can hear you. I can hear you. Now we have access to this one. So, we're 
remove this piece of wood right here and it has nails in it so we're gonna try to protect the siding and just pry it against this flat bar here um, and then we'll be putting silicone or uh, a sealant in there to protect from water intrusion. I can get these nails out first but that, will work. that works too. Here we go. So, a little sealant, a little cock, a little paint. It'll make that look good. in our hole. <laughs> you didn't tell me there was a hole. You made it. I love coming through. That about wraps it up for how to remove fence posts. Be sure to check out our other uh, video on how to build this nice gate here behind me. But if you do attempt trying to remove these posts, Please be safe. Don't use your back, use your legs, proper lifting technique. And also, uh, don't forget, water the ground a couple days beforehand periodically, and that'll make it a lot easier for you because if it's dry, it's gonna be really tough. Um, so this was definitely a fun project for us because it's easy to go out and rent expensive equipment options, but that's not as fun. And I like to test our own abilities here. Uh, but just be safe about it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. And I wanna thank you guys for your viewership because it helps our channel give back to charities, trail preservation efforts, and veterans each quarter. So uh, stick around for the next video, and thanks again. Not only can we fit this barbecue or tractor through, that's a weird looking barbecue.